So the very first time we ever seen a 3D printer was on a show called Tomorrow's World. I think it was in 1986. 86, yeah. And uh, effectively, you know, on this show was a, a 3D printer connected to a computer and the guy was able to take a digital file and send this digital file to the 3D printer and a physical object came out of it. And I remember I was just completely blown away with this idea. And the reason why it was so important to us was that the running cost of these machines was so high. We said, you know, let's, let's try and do something here. Let's try and make a difference. Let's try and set up a company that's actually going to make a 3D printer. And we had this bold idea, I guess, which was like, well, how can we make this machine as cheap as possible? And essentially we wanted to be one with like zero running cost. So, we just thought, what's the most readily available material that anybody can grab their hands on? We just said paper. And then, so that was how we come up with the idea of the selective deposition lamination process. So essentially, you take this paper, you put it together, it's very low running cost, and that was basically the genesis for the formation of the company in 2005. We have two products in our product line. We have a monochrome and a full colour called the MCOR Iris. And as the name suggests, the monochrome can build parts in just pure white or multi-layered colour just by simply changing the colour of the paper in the paper tray. And our other machine is called the MCOR Iris. It gets the name from the Greek god of the rainbow. And as the name suggests, it can print in full high resolution colour. Some people claim to have full colour capability, but what they're really doing is just changing one coloured material to the next very slowly and you get a kind of a blend of colours. What the true definition of full colour is that the machine needs to be able to change from any colour at any time in the build. There's a lot of confusion in the industry about full colour 3D printers, but really, we're the only real true full colour out there in the industry because we use paper and a special MCOR ink and paper and ink have been designed to work together and that's what makes our technology superior. What we do is that we actually use C, Y, M and K. We use four cartridges of MCOR ink to give us colour at any time, at any pixel. So any time when you build, any elevation, any position, it needs to be able to change from one colour to the next and you can only do that with a full colour 3D printer. We are the only 3D printer in the world to use an ICC colour map and we're the first full colour 3D printer that is ICC colour map approved. The biggest selling point of better technologies, both on the Iris and on the Matrix machine, is the fact that the total cost of ownership is very low. Because we use paper and a very low cost adhesive, it means that our total cost of ownership is around the fifth of our next competitor. Both our machines, we would classify them as being professional class. And what we mean by that is that it makes a professional product. So air parts aren't produced by an extrusion process or by a powder process or some sort of a laser process. Air parts are defined by a blade and the blade cuts out the profile and that means two things. One is that the parts are very precise, down to around 12 microns in precision. And the second thing is the accuracy. So our accuracy is around 100 microns. So you can take a vernier and measure air parts on the finish and get very precise, very accurate parts and finally when the parts come out they don't need to be post treated they don't need to be dipped and that makes a very tough and durable part straight out of the machine and we always felt that this machine would have to be used in non-industrial environments the likes of schools medical labs design studios so we realized that it couldn't be running on toxic chemicals it couldn't use lasers it couldn't use powders it had to be something very simple and that's what our technology is it uses paper a water-based adhesive and even a water-based ink which means that the product at the end, even when you take it out of the machine, you can completely throw it into your paper recycle bin. It's a very green solution, very sustainable, and very different from anything else that's in the industry. So people always ask us, who would use a paper-based 3D printer? And I usually say, the same as every other 3D printer manufacturer, we go after the exact same verticals. But because our machine is extremely low cost, and very green, and very eco-friendly, it's a better option in most cases. So we go after architecture, we go after casting, medical, dental applications, archeology, span marketing, bureau services, literally anywhere where people want to print a low cost part, high res resolution, MCOR Technologies is the solution. Our vision is to become the market leader providing full colour, professional and low cost 3D printers. But really what drives Fintan and myself in this business is developing the next products. We really see ourselves as an R&D company and what we want to do is not just build the next machine that's an evolution of the technology but really the next revolution.